you know, it's late tonight, and I... I wanted to save making videos for tomorrow, and I'm most likely going to make another one for you all tomorrow, but I just wanted to say... You know, with all the speculation and stuff, again, I'll go with the, more into it tomorrow. I'm probably going to record a podcast and stuff. You know, a lot of stuff talking about this because there's, there's a lot to talk about now. All of a sudden, there's a lot to talk about given what happened yesterday. But, man, I didn't expect... I've been doing YouTube. It's 2021, but I've been doing YouTube for five years. Almost six, obviously, since it's 2021. I started in the middle of the 2015 season, the year that we fired Chip Kelly. And man, I did not expect, and especially when I started back to uh, in 2015, I didn't think that I'd go through <laughs> um, two head coach firings, uh, um, some of the craziest and most not so crazy and underwhelming draft uh, selections ever from Carson Wentz to, you know, Jalen Hurts being the biggest surprise to other guys like Jalen Rager, who was very underwhelming. Not going to lie. Hopefully he can, you know, prove me wrong. To the hiring of, of all people, Doug Peterson. To now the firing of Doug Peterson. I didn't ex I didn't expect that. And, of course, in between all of this, in between all of that, <laughs> a Super Bowl, a goddamn Super Bowl ring. Yet we are firing coaches after five years of work. Even after the Super Bowl, we are not giving them full power. We're not firing the general manager who has not drafted a pro bowler since Carson Wentz when he went in 2017. And he was drafted in 2016. Four, near five years of draft selections that have not gone on to a pro bowl at the bare minimum. Not even, an, we're not talking all pro. A pro bowl. And he's still in the building. He's still in the building. He's still kicking it. And Jeffrey Lurie has all the all the hope and faith in the world that he can write the ship alongside Howie motherfucking Roseman, the weasel. <laughs> oh, man. This offseason, it wasn't going to be fun before. And and then we lost J uh, Jim Schwartz. And we're like, great. Now we got to find a defensive coordinator alongside the offensive coordinator issues. Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurst, the quarterback situation. All the old guys, all the veterans that are, <laughs> all the veterans, man, that are just taking up so much cap outside of Carson Wentz's ridiculous deal. And here we are. And now, now Doug Peterson's out the door. We have, <laughs> we're looking in to so many guys, or at least they're, they're, that's what they're saying. Of course, they most likely know who they're going to go after. But still, this is where we're at now, man. This is five years of my YouTube of my covering the Eagles on YouTube. Five years of this. And here, like, it just never ends. It just never ends. <laughs> oh, my God. Even though I hate them right now, even though I've hated them uh, for two years now because of just how shit the drafts have been, so the pro, just the lack of Pro Bowl selections, the, the, the just terrible terrible job at evaluating talent i still love this organization i still love the city and its fans and its teams with all my heart <laughs> like for real and tomorrow i'm going to talk about uh, the coaches that the eagles are looking into and if anything happens i doubt that they're going to sign somebody uh two days after firing a coach but again trust me they know they know at least two or three guys that they really want and I mean, Lincoln Riley, they spoke to him right after uh, firing Doug Peterson. So you would think he's on the top of the list. Todd Bowles is another one. Forget Mike Kafka is getting talked about. Like, it's a mess. And we're going to talk about this mess. That is the Philadelphia Eagles tomorrow. Stay tuned.